So you're thinking about living in Vancouver and curious about what it's like living in downtown Vancouver and more specifically the Yale Town neighborhood? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a few of the different areas of this beautiful downtown community and dive into the most important things that you need to know from housing options to schools to recreation, dining, and more. And if you want to know more about the different neighborhoods in Vancouver and the downtown area, make sure to subscribe right down below this video as I make videos just like this one walking you through each and every area of this city sharing what it's like living in Vancouver, BC. My name is Jonathan Lerner and our team here at the Vancouver Life Real Estate Group, we get calls, we get texts, we get emails every single day from people just like you that are looking at move, making the move to Vancouver, Canada and we love it. So whether you're moving in the next 90 days or 90 days, just give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call with us in the link right down below in the description. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Vancouver. Let's dive into the downtown Vancouver neighborhood of Yale Town. Yale Town is one of the trendiest and most well-known areas by name when people think about downtown Vancouver. The neighborhood is built around eight square blocks of old warehouses, which really gives this neighborhood its historic charm and makes it a standard destination for both locals and newcomers alike. Many Vancouverites well refer to this area as bougie, as it's definitely an upscale neighborhood that caters to a younger, health poor demographic where you'll find most everyone dressed well and looking the part. Yale Town is nestled along the southeast corner of downtown Vancouver and encompasses everything east of Seymour Street and south of Smythe Street. When it comes to schools and education options in the neighborhood, the only public school is Elsie Roy Elementary on Davie Street, right by the seawall. Another option for K-7 age range is Clarence Academy, which is an independent school located at Homer Street and Helmkin. And their tuition for the year is just under $23,000 and for international students or students not eligible for the provincial grant, you'll be looking at paying just under $29,000. For high schools, depending on where you are in Yaletown, you'll have a 5-15 to 15 minute walk outside of the boundaries of the neighborhood to either Lowell or Patterson high schools. And lastly, for undergraduate and graduate studies, you'll find UCW or University of Canada West, which is an innovative business technology oriented and teaching focused institution in Canada for both domestic and international students. When it comes to housing, Yaletown is renowned for its sleek, high high-rise condos boasting really stunning city and water views and these units often feature modern designs, upscale finishes and amenities like fitness centers, 24-hour concierge service and rooftop patios. And I'm going to start with the prices of real estate in the area and then I'm going to touch on what you'd be looking at for rents here. So prices for a one-bedroom condos typically start around $650,000 for an older building that is around 20 to 30 years old or a little bit more. And today's most expensive condo is currently listed at $1.88 million in the area. And currently the four most expensive areas, uh, condos in Yaletown, I should say, are at the Vancouver House, which is a very iconic building, with the penthouse being listed at just under $9 million right now. Now, a different style of home unique to this area are the heritage conversions of historic warehouse buildings that have been converted into loft-style condos with an industrial chic feel to them. And they have a very unique look and charm to them that is really hard to find anywhere else, with many boasting exposed brick walls, high ceilings, and big wooden beams throughout. Now these Heritage lifestyle units range anywhere from $800,000 to $2 million depending on the size, the location, and the interior finishes. And the next option here are the townhomes, um, which I've walked by several here. And while this area is predominantly condo-centric, Yaletown does offer a selection of upscale townhomes providing for more spacious and private living with many being two or three stories, uh, especially if you want to be able to have that flight of stair separation. Now some of these are open right up onto the sea wall, which is right here behind me, and you can expect townhomes to start around $1.2 million for a two bedroom option, but expect most to be sitting around the high twos to low $3 million range. Now when it comes to rental rates, you are looking around $3,000 a month for a one bedroom place. And for a two bedroom place, depending on the location, the size, the aesthetics, how new it is, you're looking at a range of $3,600 to $4,200 a month. Now if you want more details on Yelton housing, be kept up to date with new listings in the area, reach out to me at the contact info let right below and let's chat a little bit more about what you're looking for. And I can easily set you up for a search and keep you up to date on everything housing related in the area. One of the biggest draws of Yelton is its picturesque waterfront parks. Whether you're strolling through David park where I am right now soaking in the views or you're at George Wayburn Park with an off-leash area for pets and dogs running around there's no shortage of green spaces to enjoy and during the summer months you'll find these parks very well used and a great spot to hang out with friends for the afternoon and if you're into outdoor activities the city's iconic seawall is the perfect backdrop for a walk jog or bike ride 
Then just a two minute uh, walk from this park here, you'll find the Roundhouse Community Center Arts and Recreation Center. And that will keep you connected with the history of the Yelton area and provide several events and programs to take part in throughout the year. When it comes to shopping and dining in the neighborhood, you'll find some amazing options here. When anyone thinks of Yaletown, they think of two streets, Hamilton Street and Mainland Street. And these two streets are the heart of the old warehouse area and where you're gonna find the best that this community has to offer. These old red brick warehouses have been transformed into trendy urban patios that are a huge draw to this area. And you'll find many diverse dining options here that really appeal to any pal. So whether you're looking for a simple burger and a beer at Yaletown Brewery, which I'm walking in front of right now, or you're looking for a multi-course fine dining at uh, Elisa and some of their multiple restaurants here, I can guarantee you, you'll be satisfied. And after dinner, you can explore the always popular cocktail scene and nightlife with some locks, lounges, and lively pubs in the area. This area definitely comes alive after dark. And of course, no visit to Yelton is complete without a bit of retail therapy and window shopping. And this neighborhood boasts a mix of quirky uh, boutiques and designer stores offering everything from fashion to homeware. So whether you're in the market for designer dog clothing or modern bathtubs, Yaletown definitely has you covered. Or if that's not for you and you love the sound of slot machines and cars being shuffled, then just north of Yaletown, you'll find the Park Casino. The best part of downtown living is that you don't need a car and Yaletown is no exception for that. From your grocery stores at Urban Fair and Choices to fitness gyms, daycare, parks, dining, and more, you really don't need to leave this area. But if you do, you'll find the Yaletown Caneline Skytrain Station right in the heart of the area, giving you easy access to the rest of downtown. Or it will also get you to Richmond and the YVR Airport in just about 20 to 25 minutes. Then you also have two spots on the water that you can get picked up by the sea bus, which will taxi you along the water in False Creek to Granville Island, Science World, or other parts of uh, points of interest uh, at their set stops. There's your deep dive into the downtown Vancouver neighborhood of Yaletown. If you have thoughts to share on this area, please make sure to leave a comment right down below so that for those other viewers that are researching the different Vancouver neighborhoods and especially in downtown Vancouver, they can learn from your experience and, and what you had to say, the good and the bad. And if you're trying to figure out which ones and which areas neighborhoods would be the best for you, then make sure to subscribe below as I'm also making videos every on every single neighborhood in this amazing city. And by subscribing and clicking that bell right after, you'll be notified as soon as new videos come out so that you can continue your search with the info that you need to be able to make the right decision. And if you have questions about the city of Vancouver or any of the other surrounding cities, or if you already know that you're going to be moving here, whether that's in the next 90 days or 90 days, give me and my team a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call, and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Vancouver and its surrounding suburbs. It's time to live the Vancouver life.